Hi everybody, the new John Lennon compilation celebrating his 80th birthday, Give Me Some Truth is out. I'm going to open this right now. This is the 2CD Blu-ray Deluxe Edition. I'm going to show you everything that's in here, close-up photos, the lot. Let's get it opened. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. There's probably lots of big Beatles related releases coming soon and I'll be all over them. Okay, here we are. So, before I take the shrink wrap off, which I'll do in a moment, let's just have a look. There is, I'll get you a close up of that sticker there. Can you see that? That says John Lennon, give me some truth. The ultimate mixers, 36 songs on one Blu ray, two CDs, etc. Let you see that. But like I say, close up photographs coming of everything. There's the track listing on the back. Uh, okay, let's get the shrink wrap off. Okay, and here we are. So, John Lennon, give me some truth. I'm also going to show you how it sits alongside that Imagine box from a couple of years ago. Looks similar size, but we'll see for definite. There's the front cover. We've got the side there, give me some truth, John Lennon. Nothing on the end, barcode, etc. We saw the full track listing on the back. So let's see what's inside this. Exciting. Exciting. I know I said in the video that if you've not seen it before, this is when it was announced. I'll put a link there. I wasn't sure at first what the excitement was, but then I sort of realised that things like the high res, the, uh, the 5.1, the Dolby Atmos, which I don't have the capability to play all that of, of that at the moment, but I may well do in the future. And I don't want to be stuck without this. I don't want to be stuck with the the gear to play it, and this is sold out. So. That's one of the reasons why I'm getting it now anyway. So we'll come on to the book in a moment. Let's have a look first at, this is the, um, I think this is kind of tradition now, isn't it? In Lennon and McCartney releases, um, you've got these sort of separate booklets that have got the, the actual goodies inside them. So everything's trying to fall out here. So I'll try and hold it in. Okay, we've got the two CDs there, CD one and CD two, a whole load of, uh, gubbins is what we call it in Yorkshire. I will come on to have a look at that in a moment. Uh, this looks like it should have been in there. This will be the Blu-ray. Let's just check this. So this is going to have your, your high res, your 5.1 uh, Dolby Atmos mixers on. So I've got a Blu-ray set up connected to my system. So I'm going to have a listen to that. Um, I am going to, in a few moments, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to go and listen to some of this stuff. I've picked out a selection of songs that I really want to hear. And I'm going to tell you what I think of the sound quality of this. Uh, so let's just go through this, uh, what's in here anyway. We have a postcard, which is a reproduction of John returning his MBE to the Queen, Her Majesty. Uh, this is a another postcard which is John looks like it's around 1970 71 there in a some sort of a press conference I think that looks similar to the scene in, in Imagine uh, the film where he's talking about uh, he's talking to a journalist and saying uh, you know I'm sorry you liked a hard day's night but I've moved on it looks like it's from that kind of thing I'm not sure there's a car sticker or a door sticker wherever you want to stick it I'm gonna stick it inside this booklet where it belongs and this is a big poster, a uh, double-sided poster by the looks of it. Now, I do have room for one more poster probably in this room. Might be this one, we'll see. There's, there you go, there's a bedding poster. And all these things have been sort of coloured in with this sort of gold effect that seems to be definitely part of the branding for this release. And there's a nice big picture of John in the three different colours, this sort of uh, white, black and gold color theme for this so that's uh, yeah that's that's all come out of that box there that's that's everything that's inside that box so some nice little goodies there if goodies are what float your boat and um, so the other thing let me just pop that there if it'll stay uh, so here's the booklet I'm not gonna go through every page in this booklet you know if you want to see it all I would encourage you to buy it uh, but let's just pick out some key sort of highlights here so th this photograph of John it's a real nice photograph. I have seen on the internet the original photograph. It's that's that's all sort of edited. Is that background? He, he is in a. It's just sort of a, in a normal room with other people around him during that photo. So nice picture of John and Yoko. I'm sure there'll be plenty of those in here. Uh, we've got the uh, original typed lyrics to Nobody Told Me there. Again, just picking out some sort of fairly random pages. 
um, uh, War Is Over era photo of John and Yoko. And there's going to be information about all the songs. Angela there from some time in New York City has been talked about there. Uh, oh, a nice picture of John and Elton there, presumably when they were doing uh, Whatever Gets You Through the Night. Or maybe I saw her standing there. Uh, information about Bless You, Steel and Glass. Uh, oh, some real nice family photographs there from a bit later on. Looks like Sean's there on those. So Sean, of course, been heavily involved in this release. Um, I believe it's Paul Hicks who's done the actual mixing. He's been involved in a lot of Beatles uh, projects in the past. So that is a really nice booklet. I really like the look of this. And there's something I'm going to have a look for, which I believe, page 123, I've been told. Yep, here we go. Um, I'm not the first person to break this news by any means. Uh, but if you've not seen it already, some very interesting news here. It talks about Lennon Deluxe box sets. And it mentions Plastic Ono Band 2020. Is that official confirmation? It looks like it. That we are getting a Plastic Ono Band deluxe set. Now, obviously, there's some of these songs will be on there. I'm going to put a track listing up now that's going to come down here uh, of everything that's on here and where it, where it comes from, which albums it comes from. And there's some of the songs are already from Plastic Ono Band, and it'll be these mixes. Some of the things that um, that I'm aware of already, just you'll see on the non-album tracks. Uh, so there is um, Grow Old With Me is not the uh, version that's been released before. It's kind of like a hybrid version. So on the Milk and Honey version, where it's got the those sort of electronic drums all the way throughout, these only kick in later on. There's also the anthology version that's got George Martin strings. They come in later on, but it starts off very clean, so I've heard, and then sort of becomes a hybrid of those versions. Uh, so that's previously unreleased. Also, the live version of Come Together that's on here is not the version that's on sometime in New York City. There was two shows recorded uh, that day, and this is from the other show. And you can tell there's some differences. He sings a couple of different lyrics. He sings the chorus is slightly different. So I'm aware of that already. So th they are new releases for this. Okay. So... Um, before I start to sorry, just wobble there. Before I start to talk about the sound quality, which I'm going to have to pause this, go and play it, and come back. I want to show you how this sits alongside the Imagine box. So let's get this down, because it would be nice if these start to sort of all appear to be about the same size. Are they? Oh yes. Look at that. So there you go. That is the same height, same thickness, same depth. So maybe that's some kind of uniform uh, design that they're going for, which would be great because I don't think we've seen the last of these box sets. Um, they've done these mixes. I think that this compilation has come out, my own opinion, because they want a return on the investment that they've made doing all these mixes. I think they've done all the albums and I think we'll get all the albums as sort of 50th anniversary packages. Is my expectation over the next sort of 10 years or so. And... Uh, but I think that they probably wanted to get some, some return on the money, first of all. So anyway, that sits really nice. I'm now going to pause this video, have a listen. I'll be back in one moment with some uh, thoughts on how I think this sounds. Okay, so I've picked out some key songs that I really wanted to go to first for various reasons. And I've typed out some notes as, as I've gone through. So here's what I've thought. Um, and, and overall, I've got to say, I really like the sound of these. It sounds it sounds fresh and it sounds modern. That, that might worry some people, and I understand why. But it's the clarity there. They haven't tried to make it sound like it's a 2020 recording. They've just tried to make as clear as possible what's there from these 1970s and 1980 recordings. So, like I say, I picked out a few songs I wanted to listen to. Uh, Instant Karma. And what I wrote was, if I wanted to learn the bass part for this song, I'd learn it from listening to this version. And it's because you can pick it out so easily. I know some people have said they find that the bass on this overbearing. I didn't. I just found it very, very clear. There's a, there's a common theme, I think, in my notes that's going to hear, be here about the soundstage. Everything seems to very much have its own place in the soundstage. Um, the John Lennon remasters and the original masters I've found in the past can often be a little bit muddy. These are, these are nothing like that. These are very, there's a lot of clarity to these. So I, I enjoyed Instant Karma. Cold Turkey, the vocals are really in your face, but again, not in a loud way, 
just just very clear and they've got their own space there and the main thing i noticed with cold turkey is you know there's part of the song where it's sort of i don't know how he did the like a vibrato effect it's like cold turkey i don't know if he did that uh, but that's much more noticeable on this it's noticeable on the original but more so here i found but again there's clarity to everything Working class hero I wanted to listen to because of that um, that edit that's in the song where it goes from one version to another, which I didn't notice for years. I've got to say, um, cloth ears that I must have had, uh, but it's it's a lot more noticeable on here. You cannot not hear. It's like that changeover in Strawberry Fields Forever. Once you know it's there, um, let me take you down because I'm going to. With working class hero, it's a similar thing. When you hear the edit, you can't miss it, and it's more prominent here. You decide whether that's a good or a bad thing. Uh, Bless You, there was a real clarity to the the sort of light drumming uh, throughout. I think it was, where it's probably sort of um, just sort of tapping the side of the drums. And it, it's, it sounds beautiful, does that? But Bless You is just lovely and fresh and sounds new, sounds great. Uh, Come Together Live, as I mentioned, that is that is definitely, I can confirm after listening to this, it is not the version that's on uh, Live in New York City album definitely from the the other show and grow old with me again i can confirm it's, it's like a hybrid of the two main versions that we've had previously uh, in the way that it sort of combines the the strings from the george martin uh overdubs that he did about 20 odd years ago uh and, and the way that there's those sort of electro electronic drums at, at parts it's definitely a hybrid of the two steel and glass was the other one that i went to the strings sounded beautiful on that Again, not too prominent, but they've got their very, very defined place in that soundstage, more so than I've ever noticed before. Uh, and in the chorus, I felt that the bass was a little bit more pronounced. Again, not overbearing, but just very, very noticeable as, as not being sort of mixed in with the other elements of it. So they were some of the key songs that I wanted to uh, have a look at. Overall, I think we're definitely starting, you can see here, we're starting to build up a collection that that is going to be the John Lennon equivalent, I think, of the Paul McCartney archive collection. No doubt when this Plastic Ono band box comes out, I don't know when it's going to be announced, but hopefully soon, it's going to tie into this. It would be crazy if it doesn't now. They've certainly set a pattern. So I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, I'm going to give this plenty of hammer and uh, looking forward to the McCartney 3 news that hopefully is coming very soon. I will be all over that. So if you haven't done already, please subscribe to my channel and uh, I will see you for lots of exciting more Beatles releases that are coming up soon, hopefully. And all things must pass, maybe. Fingers crossed. I'll see you again soon anyway. Bye bye.